So, do you want me to just introduce myself, or...? Um... Yeah, if you could just tell us your name and a little about yourself. Yeah, so I'm Ducky, I'm 20 years old, and I'm a clown. <laughs> by nature and by trade. <laughs> I've been a clown as long as I could remember. It's been like this since I was, I don't know, about three? Being a clown, I, I mean. My parents didn't get it. I don't think they ever have. To be honest, neither did I. I just kind of got up one day and started putting on the makeup. Do your parents support you being a clown? I mean, it, it took them some time to come round to it, but they've been very supportive. I think for a while they thought I was having an identity crisis, but as time went on, they've learned to accept that this is me. So, could you give us an idea as to what an average day might look like for you? So, as a clown, my whole thing is trying to make people laugh. People tend to laugh at things that subvert expectations, like jokes. The whole point of the punchline is that it it goes against what you'd expect. You know, for example, with the tooth hurty joke, you know, what's the best time to go to the dentist? Tooth hurty? That's funny because it sounds silly and it's fun wordplay and it defies convention. So you mainly tell jokes then? I also do physical humour, you know, slapstick. They say it's the one kind of comedy that has always been funny and will always be funny. I have this Facebook page, I'm um, Ducky the Clown, look me up, where I post all kinds of jokes and videos for my followers. Though, I like to think of them as my friends. Is your page popular? I started the page when I was in secondary school. Um, some of my friends shared it with their friends, who shared it with their friends, and before I knew it, I had quite an audience. I don't mind, though. I don't mind having all eyes on me. Some of these comments are... People know what they like. I've done all kinds of videos before. Of course, one of the main reasons we wanted to talk to you today was to address the controversy you've been involved in recently. I don't think I know what you're talking about. The photos? I love my friends! I don't think I'd be anything without them. I don't know what I'd do without them. They give my life purpose. Sometimes love has conditions. But that's okay. If you really want people to like you, you'll do anything. When I was in primary school, there was this group of popular kids that I really wanted to be friends with. The only way they'd hang out with me is if I lost some weight. At the time, I was upset, but looking back, they were just looking out for me. I didn't eat for three days, and then I collapsed in class. You should have seen their faces. It was so funny. After that, they would be nice to me, and I was their funny friend. They especially liked it when I used to eat the things they dare me to. One time, I ate a whole tube of acrylic paint. It burned so bad. But they let me keep hanging out with them. Ducky! How did you get these? Where the f do you get? Do you think that's appropriate? I'm not doing this. Don't follow me! I love my friends. They send me such nice messages. You think this man is your friend? He said he loves me. You don't say that to someone unless you mean it. There are hundreds of these and they go back. How old were you? People laugh. That's what matters. People laughed. When they laugh, it means they're happy I'm here. So I'm sure your fans would like to know about your family. We barely see them on your socials anymore. 
Ducky? They don't like what I do. But earlier you were saying... My mistake. My family don't like being posted on social media. And I choose to respect their privacy. I don't want to do this anymore. What? <laughs> I'm done with this stupid interview. <laughs> <laughs>